we're going to start with a Mustard C52S size 4. This is the uh, Patagrisen as it's originally called in Danish and if you literally translate it it means suckling pig but it's also known as the pink pig and it's probably uh, the most popular saltwater sea trek pattern in Scandinavia. So we put our tying thread then we need a uh, a mallard flank I use the UV2 so the mallard flank is the beard of the shrimp so I'll just tie this in at the front like this I'll do is also gives a good foundation for the rest of the body Let's trim that off. Very good. Now turn the fly upside down. Now I want some heavy lead wire. What I do here is I take regular lead wire and place it on a dubbing spinner and then I spin it and spin it until I get that. So I just need a piece of that to go on the underside. There we are. So I'll just tie this on the underside of the hook. There we go. That'll fish the right way up. That's the beard. A bit too much there, so I'll just trim that off. Get rid of those. Now we need a uh, a whiting spay hackle. <laughs> if you can see that in salmon pink, this is the one that was made specially for the uh, Patagrisen. So the first hackle that we want is we need to thin out the end, get the fibres back and we just need to tie it in here. There we go. That will do us for now. So we start winding this spare hackle has to be the right way with the fibers pointing forward and wrapping and pulling the fibers forward with each turn and wind it all the way down till you've got the whole hackle on there. On the hook shank. The longest fibres are at the base of the hackle, so these are important for this pattern. Right, we'll pull them out so there are, there's none trapped. Then we can wind that back and tie that off like so. Remove the hackle plier and tie that down. There we go. That's the feelers and the beard done. Now we need a little dubbing. <coughs> this is a lightning dub. Perfect colour, matches perfectly. And we take just a wee bit of the pink lightning dub. Don't need much here at all. This is just to hold the beard in place and we give that a spin. And 
turn this into like so. Then <clears throat> we need some monofilament and I'll just put this on. So, and tie it in. Yeah, find a bit of monofilm that I've got to trim off. Get rid of that and just hang that out the way. Like so, take a brush, there we are, then we need some easy shrimp eyes, these are the best to use, without a doubt, and we want these on top of the hook shank, a little bit forward, like so. Now there's a ribbed part of these uh, eyes and that's to get better purchase with the tying thread. Just spin that up. There we go. And then raise the eyes by applying pressure. That's it. We get in there. Very good. Excellent. Then we need another spare hackle. Unlike the first one this spare hackle is tied in with the base of the stem and this will be palmered more or less along the whole hook shank so we go back to there like so give that a spin tie everything in nice and tight all looking good then we need to Open the tying thread again. Like so. Now we need a little more of the uh, lightning dub. You don't need, yeah. Don't need much because it's just to cover the uh, the hook shank, just a base. Let's bring that up. Got one there. Get rid of that. There we just go around and ease the fibres forward in the dubbing, as we did with the hackle this that's all we need to do that's looking good it's looking good and we just give that a bit of a, a brush that's what we need <clears throat> now for this one you need a because we're going to wind this with the tip of the spare hackle you need a hackle plier. This has to go on the stem. Okay, and once again, you have to get this the right way, like so. We have to wind this all the way. Palmed style, there we go. back towards the uh, the hook eye. This will be the legs, and you see the longest fibres from this will be mixed in with the feelers and the beard, and then the shorter fibres on the spare hackle will uh, finish at the hook eye as the legs. And 
you have to just make sure that you have a, enough space here to tie in the uh, the shell bag and for that I use funky fibre salmon pink excellent stuff just a small strip that's going to go across the back like so now make sure that your tying thread is all the way into the body before you start uh, tying this in we'll go over like that so and then we'll trim this off like so good and then we'll tie this down once that's tied nicely in I'll give it a uh, a whip finish keep your tying thread there <clears throat> and then we go lay this on the back of the shrimp and then we take the monofilament that we're using for the rib and we just have to open the fibres here so we don't trap any put it down like that that's the way and we take the first turn of the rib, good, then we move it along a wee bit, once again brush the fibres out and all the way back to the guy, you go around a couple of times like so and then we can tie this off, remove the mono once it's secured finish one more remove the tying thread and give it a brush now just to get the fibers out looking good pull them forward and we take the scissors we take the beard careful now not to get hold of the Spare hackle, there we go. And then we cut this at an angle, like so. Good, good, good. And then we take some UV resin. and just give it a blast with the UV light and that's the finished Pottergrisen or the suckling pig a great salt water pattern irresistible when that's in the water fabulous pattern